What's good? What's popping? Because I'm not stopping. It's your boy Josh Savage. And guess what? I'm back with another video, everybody. Listen, I got a lot of good hot topics to get through this video today. I'm talking Nicki Minaj and the City Girls. Do y'all really think that the City Girls are actually going to get this collaboration from Nicki Minaj? Also, we're talking Andy Ari and Joe Rogan. Listen, have y'all seen the videos of Joe Rogan saying the N-word countless of times? Guess what? If you have not, I got all the receipts that you need. I'm also doing my first drawing for Josh's Cash App giveaway everybody i'm doing all that and more coming up right now right now on the just josh show roll the intro What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Josh Savage, and welcome to the Just Josh Show. Let me get my volume check. Mic check, my check, one, two, one, two. Listen, y'all, we're going to get into this thing real quick because I got a lot of stuff to get through. But before we do all that, guess what? Y'all already know what time it is. It is time for Shout Out Tuesday. Shout Out Tuesday, Shout Out Tuesday. If you are new to my channel, I do Shout Out Tuesday each and every Tuesday. If you have a business or um, you know anything that you're trying to, trying to promote, YouTube channel, whatever it may be, all you have to do is send me a message and I will shout you out on Tuesday. All right, so um, this Tuesday, I'm actually shouting out His Place Eatery, everybody. His Place Eatery is actually a local black-owned business in the Indianapolis area. I actually did a food review on these guys yes, uh, on Sunday. Let me tell y'all, the food is to die for. It's so freaking good. What you see me eating here in this video is the churro waffle. Um, I also got uh, some chicken wings with a side of collard greens. If you'd like to check out that video, I will leave that link in the description of this video below. All right, so let's get into it, you guys. Let's get into our first topic for these hot topics because I know y'all want them. So we are talking Andy Ari and Joe Rogan. So if you don't know, Joe Rogan is actually the highest paid podcaster, um, not just on Spotify, but he's just the highest paid podcaster, period. Um, he was popular before Spotify. And he's probably going to be popular, popular after Spotify. Anyway, uh, Andy Ari, who is a music artist, actually put Joe on blast the other day, showing the world numerous videos of Joe saying the N-word. Um, so I want you guys to check out this video of Joe Rogan saying the N-word, and then we'll talk about it once we come back. Niggers. Word nigger. There should be a word like nigger, especially the word nigger. That's our nigger. About niggers. He says nigger. Guy a nigger. And then our niggers start saying nigger. About to use the word nigger. Out the word nigger. See nigger. Word nigger. Say nigger, and he couldn't say nigger. What's nigger? He takes us there. We get out, and we're giggling. Ooh, we're gonna see Planet of the Apes. We walk into Planet of the Apes. <laughs> we walk. Whoa, 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 whoa. People were actually giving him the backlash and making comments on that video of him saying the N word. He actually took it to social media to say something else ignorant. Take a look at this, y'all. Also talking about how there's not another word like it in the entire English language because it's a word where only one group of people is allowed to use it and they can use it in so many different ways. Like if a white person says that word, it's racist and toxic, but a black person can use it and it could be a punchline, it could be a term of endearment, it could be lyrics to a rap song, it could be a positive affirmation. It's a very unusual word, but it's not my word to use. I never use it to be racist because I'm not racist, Here's my thing. Let's get into it. It's him saying the word can be used in so many different ways and only black people can use it. You damn right. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> yeah, you damn right. Yeah, we're the only ones that can use that word. You know what I'm saying? We're the only ones. I don't know Joe Rogan. I've never watched none of his podcasts, so I can't tell you if the man is a racist or not. What I can tell you is that he said some very uh, racial hurtful things that um, ruffle a lot of feathers, including mine. Now, India Ari, like I said, is a person who actually put him on blast, but take a look at what India Ari had to say, and we'll talk. Hey, y'all. I want a short message here about why I decided to, why I decided to ask my music be pulled off of Spotify. I empathize with the people who are leaving for the COVID disinformation reasons, and I think that they should. 
I also think that Joe Rogan has the right to say what he wants to say. I also think that I have the right to say what I want to say. So as an artist who builds, Spotify is built on the back of the music streaming. So they take this money that's built from streaming and they pay this guy $100 million, but they pay us 0.003% of a penny. Just take me off. I don't want to generate money that pays this. Just take me off. That's where I'm at. And I know that uh, I'm actually, to be honest with you, surprised that my statements were picked up because I thought people weren't really going to listen to me because that's what I'm the kind of that's what I'm used to from the industry. So y'all yeah, heard it. That was India Ari, um, a music artist who actually spoke out um, regarding Joe Rogan. So like she said, she wants her stuff pulled from Spotify and I don't blame her. Um, I am curious to know who's all going to follow her, who's going to stand behind her. Now, do I feel like uh black people as a whole that we should continue using that word no i don't feel like we should continue using it and then you know if i feel like i feel like if we do continue to use that word something's got to change like we have to heal as a community from this word nigga we have to take it and make it our own and i think that's what a lot of the people in the um in the music industry has done like they took a word that was used you know so ugly and you know um just a real uncomfortable and you know back from slavery and things like they take they took that word and they made it their own so no you cannot use that word now to piggyback i will say in black people i don't y'all probably not gonna like what i'm gonna say if a white person is singing a song in the word and the word nigga is actually in the song do you get mad would you get mad if a white person said the word nigga if they were rapping a song? Me personally, I wouldn't get mad because I know that they're not using it in a, in a uh, malicious way. But I want to know your thoughts. Drop down in the comment section below and let me know. One of our own niggas, <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg, was actually um, suspended from the view from saying, you know, things about the Holocaust. Now, um, if you don't know, the Holocaust... Um, um, nearly 6 million uh, Jews were actually murdered because of their religion. Uh, I mean, I'm talking gun uh, gun shootings, uh, gas chambers, all that. You know what I'm saying? So um, Whoopi Goldberg actually got on The View and she made some comments and um, about the Holocaust and how it wasn't race, uh, how it wasn't, um, it wasn't racist. But check this uh, voice out and then we'll talk. Truthful about it because the Holocaust isn't about race. No. No. It's well, not about maybe race. Maybe ethnicity. Well, yeah. No, it's Jews about a different it's, race. But it's it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. So y'all heard it. Whoopi Goldberg said it is about um, man's inhumanity to man. Whoopi Goldberg did get suspended for two weeks. And um, she did put out a apology statement as well. And this is what she said. I said that the Holocaust wasn't about race and it was instead about man's inhumanity to man but it is indeed about race because hitler and the nazis considered jews to be an inferior race now words matter and mine are no exception i regret my comments as i said and i stand corrected i also stand with the jewish people as they know and y'all know because i've always done that so that was whoopi goldberg's apology and Congratulations, Whoopi. That is how you do a fucking apology, Joe Rogan. Like, that is how you make a sincere apology. Me and my friend Tommy and his girlfriend, we got really high. We were in Philadelphia, and we didn't know where we were going. We just got dropped off by a cab, and we got dropped off in this all-black neighborhood. And I was trying to make the story entertaining, and I said, we got out, and it was like we were in Africa. It's like we were in Planet of the Apes. And... I was just trying to be entertaining. I certainly wasn't trying to be racist. And I certainly would never want to offend someone. Don't try to blame it on a drug. Just own your shit. Own your shit and educate yourself so that we all can educate ourselves and heal and move on. That's all I'm saying. Shout out to both of them. Um, let's get it together, y'all. Anyway, moving right along. Let's move on. Let's get into my next topic. So we are talking uh let's talk uh Nicki minaj and the city girls so the city girls and Nicki minaj um actually had a conversation uh last week uh Nicki minaj was actually on um 
the morning hustle show and uh it came they asked her a question regarding you know working with the city girls and uh this is what Nicki minaj had to say in regards to doing a collaboration with the city girls check this out an artist is a human being first so if i as just a regular human was about to do something with you if i was about to go out to dinner with you tonight and then i get some something that says yo she don't really come with you like that she was saying this and she don't really like you and she and she said she hopes you actually you know never pop or never flourish and da -da -da -da. i'm not gonna go out to dinner with you anymore because now i know that i like you but you you don't really like me so mm -hmm. so you know um i'm just you know that's just that's just a human way to feel if you hear right. somebody, if you hear somebody was saying things about you, not just one thing, but repeated things, repeated gotcha. tweets for for years, not just one thing. So it's hard to not, let that go. No, it's it's let go. Yeah, it's let go. But it's about why would I work with somebody that doesn't like me? Period. Why would you work with somebody who doesn't like you? So for those of the, those of you that don't know, uh, the City Girls actually, um, I think it was about a year or so ago, a um, an old video had resurfaced uh, with the City Girls. Well, actually, not even the City Girls. It was more so of um, of uh, JT actually. JT was actually in the car with Young Miami, and they were basically, you know, just just playing around, spitting or whatever like that. Well, the old video resurfaced, and this is what Nicki Minaj was talking about. So, if, for you guys that have not heard that footage um, of JT, this is Nicki Minaj. This is what it sounded like. You can't rip no beat. That hoe ain't even entry. She been with me, but she got dropped like some groceries. I'm gonna be with me. Yeah. I'm beefing with Nikki, but I ain't no f***ing Remy. I got that Remy in my house, and you know I got plenty. This ain't Brazilian, bitch. This so that is the, the JT diss and Nicki Minaj. I mean, do I think they were serious? No, because for one, the, the rap suck. Explosion sound. Thank you. The rap suck, but you know, for those of you that don't know, um, Cardi B, which is actually, um, I'm not going to say enemy or Nicki Minaj, but y'all know what is given. They don't deal with each other, whatever the case may be, but Cardi B is actually uh, one of the ones who actually um, put the City Girls on. That's how a lot of people actually found out and heard about the City Girls was due to Cardi B. So um, between that and then, you know, with that resurfacing or whatever like that, Nicki Minaj felt some kind of way as she should now my personal opinion i don't think she's gonna do a collab with y'all hey girl bye i don't see Nicki minaj doing a collaboration um Nicki minaj likes to do those collabs with like those real you know um rappers with that pen and that paper and get to it i just think that you know the city girls is too many people writing uh their songs and too, too many too many people involved so i I don't know. I, I just feel like Nicki Minaj just just really wanted them to bow down. Like yeah, like yeah. Beg me, beg me, beg me for a feature. Beg me for a collaboration, and then I'm a you know what I'm saying. And then apologize. You know what I'm saying. I think that's what it is. Nicki Minaj is good for keeping her keeping her name in the headlines. So to me, I think she's doing what she need to do to get that bag. Anyway, um, they did actually speak. After all that went down, they did actually speak, and um, this is what Nicki Minaj actually tweeted. Just had a great convo with uh, JT and Young Miami. Let's move on and make new memories. Um, JT says, "Sag sister, thank you for your time, your advice. A true queen, love you." And then um, Young Miami said, "Queen thing." So that is the tweet. So apparently they had a good little conversation over the phone or whatever the case may be. So. Apparently everything is squashed. My opinion in the back of my head, I don't see it. But that's just my opinion. Drop down in the comments section and below and let me know. Do you see or do you think that Nicki Minaj is going to give the City Girls that collaboration that they have been asking for? Well, that is all I have on my docket. So without further ado, let's go ahead, you guys, and get into this Cash App giveaway. Josh's Cash App giveaway. Uh-uh. Uh-oh, 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 get some money, 
get some money get some money get some money subscribe subscribe <laughs> all right so we're gonna do this josh's cash app giveaway you guys so if you haven't already um i left a link of the video you can check this video out um all you had to do was leave a comment and comment a number from zero to 200 on this video. And I'll also leave that video in the description of this video as well. Comment a number between zero to 200 and make sure that you hit that subscribe button. That's all you have to do in order to, um, to be a part of Josh's Cash App giveaway. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get my screen view pulled up here so we can go ahead and get this started. All right, everybody all right so let's go ahead and get into it so we are doing our first drawing for the josh's cash app giveaway all right so um i have my little bowl here full of numbers and this is how we're going to start off to see what the numbers that we're going to be playing off with or number that we're going to play off with all right so, so for one all right so it looks like we have number 15. number 15 is the amount that we are playing for today so let's take it over to our number generator over here on Google. So I'm gonna go zero and then 200. All right, let's see who's the winner. 93, number 93. Let's see if we have a 93 up here, you guys. Let's check this out real quick. All right, so it doesn't look like we have a winner for Josh's Cash App giveaway this go around, but that's okay. I will be doing another drawing throughout the week. And before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the tone. Because we left off at 15 It was $15. I did three drawings. So since nobody won, I'm going to go ahead. This is my little, my little thing. And I'm just going to pull out... Uh oh okay so five dollars can y'all see that five dollars so this brings it a total of 20 bucks so 20 dollars is the next cash app drawing so um you guys like i said if you have not already make sure you hit that subscribe button click this video above or check the description below and just leave that comment a number from zero to 200 it must be on the correct video in order for you to qualify to be in josh's cash app giveaway all right um quick news alert before i wrap this thing up so i have not officially started going back live on thursday so um if you're waiting around and you're looking for a video on thursday just be mindful that um i'm still getting um my thursday uh segments together so just um be patient with me on that. Um, but other than that, I do go live each and every Sunday and Tuesday. Sundays, I do my full review videos, and then Tuesdays is more so of hot topics. Um, I will be bringing back the uh, Throwback Thursdays, though, so stay tuned for that. I um, think that is all I have for you guys. Like I said, make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And then once you're done hitting that subscribe button, make sure that you ring that notification bell so you never miss out on any content like this, you guys. Please make sure you hit that notification bell, all right? And make sure that you do all notifications, not just personalized. All right. Um, that is it all right so that's all i have for y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in thank you so much for your support i see the youtube numbers going up thank y'all so much but until next time y'all be safe peace